Hello everybody out there in the video world, this is Dan with another movie review for you. This time it's Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, rated PG-13 for language and uh, mythical violence. This just came out this weekend and it's probably going to be number one at the box office. This movie is the intro to Phase 5. Okay, for all you MCU fans in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this is the intro to Phase 5. All the cast are back from the first two including newcomers Bill Murray, Catherine Newton, and reprising his role, but this time as a bigger role, is King the Conqueror, Jonathan Myers. This movie is pretty much set in the quantum realm. Uh, we learn a lot about Michelle Pfeiffer's Jan Van Dyne's backstory of how she survived in the quantum realm, how she knows Kang, spoiler alert, I apologize, uh, and what Ant-Man has to do to get them safely home. I actually disagree with the critics. Now, I, I understand Ant-Man and Wasp was going to be Avengers Endgame. Okay, nothing will be. Let's get that out of our heads now. But it was it was a decent movie, you know. It was Ant-Man-esque. You know, it, it joked. Evangeline Lilly got a bad rap. I, I thought her character for it was was decent. She saved Scott Lang a couple times in the, in the movie. You know, she's a solid character. She's not meant as a mainstream character in the MCU world, okay? The only thing I really, and Jonathan Majors is not as scary as I thought he was going to be. Like, I was in, I was like, oh my gosh, this guy is a complete badass. Now, yes, he had badass scenes in the movie. I didn't feel like he just like, you know, he was good, don't get me wrong. But it just, it didn't, didn't quite, you know, he wasn't quite, He'll have to. We'll have to fill him out in the following move, in further moves and see how it goes. Okay. The only thing I really didn't like was um, Catherine Noon's character, Scott Lang's daughter. I, I just didn't see a point in her. Like every scene she came in, I was. I just okay. You know, Scott Lang missed his daughter. Does everything for his daughter. Wanted time. He didn't get back with his daughter. I get that. Just wasn't. She didn't do anything for me. You know, I, I felt like the whole movie could have happened without Scott Lang's daughter whatsoever. Just my opinion. You know, like I said, great, great. The visual effects were stunning. I uh, give it a thumb, give it two thumbs up just because of that. I'm going to give it a thumb up. I'm not going to give it two thumbs up. Um, it was a decent movie. Like I said, for an MCU movie, Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, it was decent for an Ant-Man movie. Probably my third on the list of Ant-Man, but that's expected. I don't think it was quite better than the first one, you know, Nothing can really do top the first ones for me, so. Um, but I am, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Go see it. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time at the movies.